And we are back in a Range Rover Classic. Oh, that sweet V8 petrol, right? Hello and welcome. So I can finally talk about something I've wanted to tell you guys for ages. Since the last time we spoke, my beloved Ranger Rover Classic has had some issues. So, what issues I hear you ask? Well, we had water leaking from somewhere I couldn't actually distinguish where it was leaking from. Turns out it was the water pump it was leaking from. So Ben at Car Better in Sway, Land Rover Specialist, um, those guys literally took the car for one day, it came back, boom. Yeah, this that's broken, did a service, changed a plug, did your water pump, it's ready to pick up. Amazing service, super happy with those guys. So what do I want to talk to you about? Well, this car has actually got a little secret. Yeah, it was featured in the video, first drive in the Range Rover Classic with Chloe, if you remember that one, very fun. Um, yep, sure, she was the star of the car and she was in the car, but it has a little secret. So this car was actually featured on the Antler Suitcases new photo shoot. So they used two cars for the photo shoot, both were my first black Range Rover I had, and then this Range Rover. So they actually did a photo shoot with both cars, so they are both involved in the Antler photo shoot, which was really cool, and I was super happy to have, um, to be able to get involved with that. It was a really fun, uh, fun couple of days shooting. Uh, we drove the car all the way to the Isle of Arran in uh, Scotland, which is a heck of a drive, but we, we had a lot of fun with it. So that's not all we're going to talk about today. We're going to do a walk around video of this classic and all the little quirks and differences between this one and other classics on the road. This one being a genuine Vogue SE. So we get a few more electrics, could lead to problems, and a few better bits of spec like factory air conditioning. Let's go through the car, check out all the bits. What do you think of the color? What do you think of the interior? Um, for me, the black and the tan is just, it's a winner, you know? But what's your favorite interior? What's your favorite combination? With me, I think we go black tan, black, black. So black exterior, black interior. And then I actually quite like that unusual gold color they did. That was a really cool color with the tan interior. What do you guys think? What's your favorite interior? I mean, the black ones for me are hard to find. That's why I like them. And um, tan interior, which like I said, I love. And let's just go around all the quirks and really have a good look around the car. So here we are. Here we are with the genuine Range Rover, Land Rover, Vogue SE. What does SE mean? Special equipment, I think generally. And on this mall, there is some special equipment. We're gonna take a little look around, see what's going on, see what's good, see what's bad, and see what needs to probably be improved. But this is original factory, black Range Rover. Original factory, black Range Rover with tan interior. One of my favorite combinations, like I've just said. And it's got my favorite type of wheels. Let's check it out. So these are actually my favorite alloy in the Range Rover Classic. These ones are the CL, CSK alloy wheels, also found on the Range Rover LSE, so the long wheelbase version, and the CSK, two places you can find them. And I was looking for a set of these 
and then I managed to find this car and they had a set on already. It was meant to be. Just put a set of Geo, Geo Landers Yokohanas. Very impressed with how they are performing, to be perfectly honest. Looking at the Goodyears, but the Goodyears are like 160, 170 a corner for those. So I went for these ones, which are around 110, something like that for a set. So I was pretty happy with that. In good condition for its year, this being a 1990, so it's a slightly earlier model than the previous black one we looked around. This can be indicated by the position of the filler cap. So on the earlier models, pre-1991, 1990, you had the filler cap lower down and you'll notice on the last of the models, it was at the top here. So that is one of the big differences on the exterior when you're trying to age one of these cars. If you've got it down here, you know you're dealing with a car pre-91 or so. And that's one of the giveaways on the outside. Not much else really, because after about 87, I think it was, they got rid of the exposed hinges. See this slight bit of, um, I think called it ionization. <laughs> is that the right one thing I'm thinking of? Where the metal, where the steel and the aluminium basically mix with itself and um, it creates, it creates flaking of the paint. So we've got a little bit of paint flaking there and I think it can really do the detail because as you see close up, you know, just some impurities in the paint and things like that. One thing I do like about this model, this one has the light guards. This one's not exactly very tight on, but I think they really look cool. So yeah, pretty cool aftermarket design this. This was a factory option, whether these are from the factory, I am not 100% sure. We have a tow bar. Heavy duty, heavy duty adjustable tow bar. So moving around the vehicle, similar situation here. And some minor scratches at the back. A couple of little scratches there. That's actually a <laughs> post behind reflecting. So this is a, a bit of damage, which is quite a shame something fell off a shelf and land on the car the previous owner had it stored in the garage all the time he owned it and that was just a battle wound of something falling off the shelf sadly so there's got a couple of battle scars on this one but wholeheartedly i think this is fundamentally very solid so we check the normal places inner arches always a criminal spot so we're looking up in there and a bit muddy but So the inner arch there looks like it's been welded before and probably this has had some work done as well. But it's clean and it's not rusty. Bottom pillars, they're all very solid all the way up. Checking out the rear tailgate. Very nice, very nice and clean. Bottom's very good. Inner arches, very good as well. There's a new fuel filter we just had fitted. And these tend to rust. Looking at the interior on this bad boy. So we have aforementioned tan leather interior. Got the hard dash showing 113,000. We've got the nice 
wood trim all the way along. This one has got AC, but it doesn't have cruise or never was fitted with the cruise control. Here in the Vogue SE, we have got the electric seats on here, which do function, though this one's a bit iffy going forward. Uh, one of the comments previously told me that blowing them out with an air gun actually cleans up the components and that will make it work a bit more effectively. So one of the other very rare features in here, cup holders. I never knew they did cup holders at this age. And that's one of my favorite things about this car. You lift up when you don't use it, put it down. So this is an early hard dash model with, oh, hello doggy, hello. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Just got to jump in the back of the Range Rover. Say what, it's pretty comfy back here. I mean, it's quite upright in the back here. But yeah, nice, I like it. So, question. To wood or not to wood? That is a question. You guys have found the wood? I think it looks quite luxurious, like sort of. So, under the hood, as they say. Not the cleanest looking engines, but to be honest, I prefer it when you've got a dirty engine. It shows there's nothing to hide. It's not being all glossed up and everything like that. So we have got the early ABS system on this, which works very sharply, I would say. Inner arches, very good. That lovely V8 bubble, love it. So interestingly on this one, you'll notice the ABS light stays on. So the ABS light will stay on until you start driving because not like modern cars, he hasn't got these sensors and computers. This is a very basic system and it needs to calibrate when it starts driving. So you notice I pull off and the light will actually go off. because that's what I thought was actually a fault with this thing. So it's cool to know it isn't. This vehicle is actually for sale. If you're interested in having a look, it's on our website. So that's the Range Rover Classic. This beauty gets looks of admiration wherever you go. And it's such a fun car to drive. It just feels so nice on the road. I really thoroughly enjoy driving this car. It's just, it's a wibbly wobbly four by four. Some of the time you're going down a bumpy road, but very much enjoyable. Or what is your favorite color combination for a classic Range Rover? You know mine, what's yours? And do you like these wheels or do you think the three spokes are one to go for? So shout us out, let us know what's happening in your Range Rover world. Don't forget to hit that like button. Drop us a comment, let me know what's happening. Peace out.